If you've spent any amount of time in academia, chances are you've heard the terms reference list, bibliography, and works cited being thrown around, often interchangeably. While these three concepts are similar, they're not the same, and it's important to understand the differences. In this video, we'll unpack the dynamic trio using straightforward language and practical examples. Let's do it! As I mentioned, the reference list, bibliography, and works cited are similar, but not quite the same thing. So let's start by looking at the commonalities. At the simplest level, all three of these take the form of a consistently formatted list that describes the resources you drew on for any given piece of writing. This list could, for example, include journal articles, conference proceedings, websites, or books. This reference list will feature toward the end of your document, usually after the conclusion chapter and before the appendices, and it will follow a specific referencing format, for example, APA or MLA. This will be true regardless of whether it's a reference list, a bibliography, or a works cited page. However, the exact contents of each list will vary. So let's dig into the differences. First up, let's look at the reference list. A reference list includes only the sources you cited or quoted in your paper using in-text citations. In other words, a reference list provides a precise snapshot of the work you actively engaged with, and each entry in your reference list corresponds to a specific in-text citation. For example, if you have an in-text citation of Smith's 2020 study on research methodologies in your literature review, Smith 2020 will appear in your reference list. In practical terms, the reference list allows anyone reading your work to locate the source you referred to. Moreover, the one-to-one -one relationship between the in-text citations and the reference list means that readers can easily fact-check any claim you make within your document. You'll typically create reference lists using a reference manager, like Mendeley or Zotero. If you're interested to learn more about those tools, we've got detailed explainer videos covering exactly that. Links are down in the description. Next, let's look at the bibliography. While a reference list only lists the resources you cited or quoted, a bibliography is a bit more comprehensive, covering all the resources you consulted during your research, even if you didn't cite them. This could, for example, consist of background reading, influential works, or other sources that informed your understanding. Sticking with our previous example, if you read Jones's 2019 book on research methods but didn't include it as an in-text citation, Jones 2019 would still appear in your bibliography. In a nutshell then, your bibliography showcases the full spectrum of materials that shaped your thinking, offering readers insight into the depth and breadth of your reading and research prep. Last but not least, let's quickly discuss the Works Cited page. While this might sound like a mysterious third option, a Works Cited page is simply a reference list specific to documents using the MLA format. As with a standard reference list, the Works Cited page lists all the sources you included as in-text citations. However, there is a very specific formatting requirement for how and what information is presented. If you're interested in learning more about MLA, We've got explainer videos and examples covering that. The links are in the description. Now, it's worth mentioning a quick caveat here. While we've drawn clear distinctions between a reference list, bibliography, and list of works cited in this video, terminology can vary between institutions and software packages. So, if you're not 100% certain, check with your institution and be sure to follow their instructions, even if they adopt different terminology. All right, we've covered quite a bit of ground here, so let's quickly recap the key points. A reference list details the resources that you included as in-text citations in your document. A bibliography details all the resources that you consulted while developing your work. And a list of works cited is simply the MLA equivalent of a reference list. If you're currently working on a dissertation or thesis, be sure to check out our collection of free chapter templates. These tried and tested templates are the easiest way to fast track your writing and lay a solid foundation for your project. As always, you can find the links in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons. 
And be sure to check out this video next. I'll see you there.